All right, that's set. All right, so let's start the reel and let me introduce today's session, Documenting an Adventure, the Soul Trail video by Fiona McMartin and her son, Noah. Fiona is based in Korea, but she is from Canada. Um, she teaches freshmen at Dongguk University in Seoul. Uh, she's a first time filmmaker, but very excited to share her experiences with you. Now, before we start, Fiona would like to ask that you uh, drop questions at any time in the chat box, but uh, chat box and live questions will be uh, taken at the end of the talk. Um, and please make sure to give everybody a chance to ask a question. All right, uh, the Easter egg uh, movie title will be announced at the end of the session as well. Uh, let's start with a round of applause for uh, Fiona McMartin. Please unmute your uh, mics. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, welcome and thanks for coming. And uh, as Kinsella said, I'm here to present this, uh, this video along with my son, who will be showing up in just a minute or two. Oh, I think he's right there. So, Noah, can you put the thing down a little bit? There we go. All right. Is Noah pinned? Okay, all right. Noah, do you wanna say hello? Uh, hello, uh, I'm Noah and I'm 13 Korean age. He's my assistant for this project. So, all right. So today, uh, basically I'm going to be talking about two adventures, if you look at it this way. Um, We've got, so document and adventure, the Soul Trail video. So basically two adventures. First one was walking the trail. And then the other one was actually making the video. So just a second. All right, now I can see everyone's face. <laughs> okay. so. Um, so basically I'll be talking about how I discovered the soul trail in the first place, which leads up to the video, and then why I decided to make the video and how I went about it. And then together, we're gonna to watch the video. Maybe you've already seen it or not, I don't know, but uh, anyway, we'll watch it together. And then um, we're gonna replay a few parts just to give you our comments uh, about how we made it and interesting things that came up for us. And then we'll talk a bit about our impressions and experience making the video, and then we'll have some time for questions and answers. So, all right. So this whole adventure begins with the Soul Trail. So I thought I'd start by asking, do you know what the Soul Trail is? <laughs> you can write in the chat or just say, like, have you ever heard of the Soul Trail before coming to this presentation? I, I did meet a couple of people who had, who, we're working on hiking the whole thing around. It, it goes through quite, it's, it's quite long, right? It goes through sort of the suburbs of Seoul, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 157 kilometers. It goes all around Seoul um, through rivers and mountains and streams. And uh, yeah, so, so, uh, so I've been in Korea for quite a long time and I really love mountains. I've been to almost every major mountain in Korea, but last summer I was on my way to one of the mountains, Bukhansan, and as I stopped in the subway station, I saw this sign on the wall, this map for um, the Seoul Trail, and I thought, well, that's strange. I've never heard of this before. How can that be? I've been most places, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it out, and um, so, but I say in the video that the Soul Trail is very well marked and it's easy to get to, which is true, except for my very first time, because when I saw this map, I thought, okay, well, how do I get to it? So I went to the subway office and I said, oh, do you know exactly where I go to get to this trail? And they said, well, I'm not sure. I think it might be here. Anyway, he directed me to the wrong exit, but coincidentally, there was another trail that was there. And, you know, it was going, it was a shorter one. It was about 25 kilometers in this little loop. And I thought, well, oh, well, I'll just try this one. Um, so I went there first and it was kind of cool because it had a, you know, stamp book that you go and you, you stamp when you, when you get to the different places. And uh, so I did that and it took about, it was on three different days I went. And on the third day, I invited our illustrious campaign, um, conference chair, Rhea, to come 
who coincidentally I had been friends with like 15 years ago and I completely lost touch with her until we ran into each other in a restaurant in Seoul like last spring. So then since then we met once or twice and I thought, oh, let's go hiking together. So she said, okay. So this picture was taken on the first time when we met together. This was at the end of this loop trail. And I'm stamping for this little stamp book. And I remember at that time, Rhea said, what, stamp book? Well, whatever, okay. But in the end, the stamp books become very addictive and you want to go and do the whole thing. So I said, listen, let's go and do the actual soul trail. This is just the shorter loop, but let's do this actual soul trail together. And she said, oh, okay. So that day when I got that last stamp, we went to the city hall to pick up, this is where you get your maps and your stamp books. And this, if you have never been to city hall or haven't been recently, you'll be most impressed. It's the most amazing place to start any trail because it's got, these are the Guinness World Records largest indoor vertical gardens. So impressive. So this was a wonderful beginning for the Soul Trail. So basically that was the beginning of the Soul Trail adventure, which took, you know, we went once or twice a week for about a month and a half or so. So, but near the end of the trail, near the end of the trail, we came upon this thing at the office at Dobongsan and it says, it says, oh, video competition about the Seoul Trail should be one to three, one and a half to three minutes. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. I've never made a video before. That could be kind of fun. And uh, so that was the original motivation to go to do the, the video. And I came home that day and remember, Noah, I said, oh, I found out about this video. What did you think, Noah? I thought if there's any prize or something. Yeah, then it would be fun for you to do, right? So he's like, is there any prize money? And I said, yes, there is actually. So then Noah, you said? How much is it? Yes, how much is it? And then I told you it's like $1,000, $2,000. And then you said? Yeah, I want to do it. Of course, you wanted to help out. I thought, awesome, because I don't know much about video making. And then, so, then Rhea said, oh, hey, a video in Korean? why don't you enter it in the conference? So I said, well, okay, why not? So that's how it started. So the process of making the video was, um, first I had to think of a theme. So we bounced around a few ideas and my thought was, well, since it's a Korean competition, I, maybe I should try to do something a little different that would kind of stand out. So I thought, well, I'll tell it from a Canadian's impression of the trail, five reasons to love it. I could kind of count down the five reasons that it was great. So that was the theme. And then after that, I had to sort photos and videos. And I had hundreds of photos and not many videos, but that was the problem was trying to put them all together and, you know, put them into themes. And at first I thought, well, just so I can see it, I'll do it what I'm familiar with, which is PowerPoint. So I'll just throw all the pictures in PowerPoint and then I can see what it looks like and then figure out the video stuff later. So that took quite a while. And meanwhile, Noah was experimenting with different video editing apps. Noah, what apps were you looking at? Um, I looked at a lot, but the one that I remember is Movavi. Yeah. And we did good with it, but um, if we download it, the watermark will constantly come up so we couldn't use it. Right. So then we switched to iMovie. So that was the next thing, just put it in iMovies. So I basically put the pictures in the order I thought would probably work, but it was still kind of very rough. So then I thought, okay, I'll decide what I'm going to say. So the next thing was making a script. So I wrote the script in English and I printed it out. And then of course it had to be changed to Korean. So Noah was a big help with that. And this is what, no, and that was a lot of work together, right, Noah? Like I would say it in English and you'd say what you thought it was in Korean. I could kind of figure out what I should say, but I wanted to get the native speaker kind of, you know, perspective. So, and then all that writing is my notes because later on I had to kind of change it to words that I was comfortable saying or notes on, you know, like pronunciation or where do I break and that kind of thing. So that was interesting process. So translated to Korean and then... What did we do? Filmed the intro and video segment because most of the others is just photographs. And then recorded my Korean narrative, then added music, sound effects, English subtitles, and then a sigh of relief that it was finished because it took far longer than I ever expected. <laughs> so anyway, let's watch the finished thing. And then 
we'll give you a bit more details on it. But anyway, we'll just watch the whole thing first. Um, and I hope, hold on, just a second, share sound. And please shout out if it doesn't work because I can't see any of you right now. I'm here, Fiona, by the way. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. It looks here good. All right. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 저는 캐나다에서 왔는데 한국산이 너무 좋아요. 이번 여름에 제가 북한산 가다가 우연히 소울 블랙을 발견했어요. 와우, 소울을 한 바퀴나 돈다고? 157km? 누구나 할수 있다고? 자, 가볼게요. 도시가 잘된 둘레길까지 이동이 아주 쉬워요. 캐나다는 산으로 유명하지만 가기가 조금 힘들 수 있어요. 차를 타고 가끔은 집에서 굉장히 멀리 가야 돼요. 그렇지만 서울 둘레길은 버스나 지하철역에서 가까워요. 빠르고 쉽게 도시의 바쁜 거리들을 벗어날 수 있어요. 둘레길 곳곳에 표시가 정말 다양하게 잘 되어 있어요. 리본, 스티커, 표지판, 지도, 잘 표시되어 길을 쉽게 찾을 수 있어요. 길을 잃어버리기 쉽지 않은데 저 같은 길치는 잃어버릴 수 있죠. 하지만 괜찮아요. 둘레길에서 벗어난 예쁜 구조물 등을 발견할 수 있으니까요. 지형과 길도 다양해요. 흙, 나무, 돌, 다리, 계단, 매트 등 정말 많아요. 지형은 산, 강, 숲, 길처럼 다양해요. 코스는 혼자 가도 좋고 친구랑 함께 가도 좋아요. 이 모험은 내 몸에 대한 도전이에요. 오늘은 어디까지 갈수 있을까? 그래서 몸에 좋고 마음도 도움돼요. 마음이 편안해져요. 자연의 힘을 받으면서 도시의 시끄러움과 스트레스를 해서 시켜줘요. 둘레길에서 보는 서울의 경치도 끝내줘요. 그리고 서울 둘레길은 서울을 다른 입장에서도 보게 해줘요. 서울의 랜드마크들을 다른 시점에서 보게 해주는 것도 흥미로워요. 도시에서 멀리 떨어진 것 같지만 생각해보면 은 가깝다는 것은 특이해요. 저기엔 수백 명의 사람들이 있는데 난 숲속에서 그 곳을 지켜보는 게 신기해요. 반에서 보는 서울 둘레길은 완전히 다른 분위기를 줘요. 이코스는 특이한 한국 문화와 아름다움을 담고 있어요. 예를 들면 건축물, 빌딩이 모던한 것도 있고 전통 건물도 있는데 캐나다 건물이랑 조금 다르죠. 한국에 많은 예쁜 저들을 가봤지만 서울 들리길에서 본 저들은 조금 달라요. 특히 이 용과 금을 두른 저들은 처음 봤어요. 너무 특이하고 정말 예뻐요. 둘레길의 멋진 점은 예측할 수 없다는 점입니다. 다음에는 어떤 독특한 한국의 모습을 볼수 있을까? 
사람들이 행복한 게 밖에서 다 같이 노래를 부르는 것이나 고추를 길에서 말리는 것, 항아리가 한국식 조미료가 담겨 있는 것, 야외 전시회이나 도서관, 쉬면서 한국 전통 논리 바둑을 하는 것, 무료 야외 운동기구, 캐나다에서는 야외 운동기구 등이 훼손되거나 스프레이가 뿌려져 있었던데 한국에서는 깨끗하게 사용해요. 그리고 안전은 캐나다에서는 산에서 곰을 조심해야 하는데 서울 둘레길에서는 야생 멧돼지를 조심해야 돼요. 다행히 우리가 많아지 않았어요. 아, 아마 이 장성 때문에 멧돼지가 다 도망갔을까? 한국 음식은 등산의 필수적인 부분이라고 생각해요. 계곡에 있는 식당, 전통 과자, 순두부, 얼마나 맛있어요. 이 멋진 모든 것들을 묶어주는 것은 무엇일까요? 바로 스탬프입니다. 산책으로 중간중간에서 그 산책으로의 컨셉들 맞는 도장을 찍을 수 있어요. 걷다가 발견색 우체통 같은 도장을 발견하는 것을 기대하게 됐어요. 도장을 찍을 때 나는 만족스러운 소리가 너무 좋아요. 24개의 스탬프를 모두 스탬프에 채우려고 노력할수록 중독적이고 끝까지 재우고 싶어요. 157kg 완주하면 성취감도 엄청나요. 마지막 스탬프 와우. 근데 서울 둘레길 모험이 아직 끝나지 않았어요. 이제 시작일 뿐이에요. 가을, 겨울, 봄, 다시 여름 매번 다릅니다. 왜 기다려요? 지도 스탬프 가지고 서울 둘레길에서 많아요. 와, wow, isn't it awesome? I yeah. love the Korean summer. Yeah, me too. It's such a nice place to come. And I love the weather and I love the sound. Wow, and it's really well mapped out. It's like it's easy to find the way because yeah, because of, of yeah, the, lots of ribbons and you could bound the way really easily. Oh, I think it's this way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get back to Zoom. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, that was the version that I ended up with. That was a seven and a half minutes. And uh, maybe I'd like to just go over a few of the parts that came up as points of interest when making the video. Um, let's see, I know it will help me a bit too. And I won't be able to see your faces, so please just call out if I ask you a question. Okay, so first thing was around a sound effect. And this sound effect Noah wanted to put in. And I'm just curious to know what you guys think the sound effect is, what it means. So let's see. 캐나다는 산으로 유명하지만 가기가 조금 힘들 수 있어요. That sound. What do you think that is? Why did we put that in? Um, it's Jack's um, contribution, the cat. The cat? No. No. Not actually, uh, no, it's not. Any other ideas? It sounds like one of those cow toys we had when I was a kid. You turned it over and it would make this weird animal noise. <clears throat> it yeah. does sound like a weird animal noise, but I just have no idea what it means. Wait, can no you hear idea. the sound one more time? It's like a eh, right? Yeah, right. Like, we'll play it one more time. Here it is. 
I was curious about that too. You have to read the subtitles at the same time. One more time. No ideas? Well, Noah, why don't you explain what it means? So in Korean, it's supposed to be kind of like a really sad sound. Not sad, but kind of, it's kind of like those squeaky toys. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to mean kind of crying sound. Yeah. So Koreans would associate that with the crying sound. So I said, getting there is kind of difficult. So he put it in there, mm -hmm. meaning, oh, it's too difficult to get there. But I completely, <laughs> completely lost on me. And anyway, I thought that was a really interesting cultural difference in making the sound. And there was another one too, uh, around, well, I just wanted to mention around one at, at this time. That sound is actually Noah and me walking. That's what we did. Um, Noah didn't do much of the trail, right, Noah? About 20 minutes around Koopa Ball Station, but he did take some awesome video and that's part of the sound, which worked in well in the video, I thought. And also the fact, the fact that I have to put these, these um, titles in here is because, like normally in the shortened Korean version, I would, include these as part of the rest of the video, but I made these special titles because it's impossible in iMovies to put English subtitles on the bottom plus a title in the middle. So, you know, so I had to make extra space for these titles if, you know, to put all the English subtitles in. So that was one limitation of iMovies for sure. Okay, and another sound effect. Now this sound, I'd like you to listen to the music that we put in here and tell me what do you feel when you hear this music or what's yeah what's the feeling or what does it mean? 네, 많은 예쁜 저울들을 가보았지만 소울들의 길에서 본 저울들은 조금 달라요. 특히 이 용과 그물 두른 저울들은 처음 봤어요. 너무 특이하고 정말 예뻐요. So that music what what does it make you feel? I've heard that music before in Korean things, and I always thought it's supposed to be something very, very sad. Something, somebody has died, something terrible happened. Or someone has spilled their ramen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Noah, why did you hate this music? Because like you said, it's supposed Apple. to be a really sad um, thing. Right. Like sad. Yeah. But but I didn't have that connection to it at all. I guess I don't watch enough Korean dramas or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought it was very beautiful. And I thought, oh, beautiful and, you know, lovely scenery. So I'll put this music in. And yeah, I, I thought it was like a um, sense of tradition or history because of the um, showing the temples and the buildings. Mm. Thank you. That's what I thought too. But no, I didn't like it. But in the <laughs> ethics, oh, well, let's just leave it in because I like it. <laughs> and then another note. 442. So this picture here of the guy having a picnic. So I was walking along and these guys, these two men were sitting there and they had the whole Korean chest, right? Paduk out on the whole picnic table. And I thought that would be an awesome picture, you know, to show people playing games in the mountain. So it took me a minute or two to get up the courage to go and ask them, you know, like, would you mind if I took your picture? And in that time, they quickly had put it away and brought their food out. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's not actually the picture that I want, but okay. And then of course they invited me to sit down and eat with them. And then I said, well, you know, I didn't have any chopsticks and I didn't want to share their chopsticks or anything. So the guy, he said, oh, no problem. I'll get my friend to take these. Can you see the, at the bottom? It's kind of under the Paduk writing. He made these chopsticks for me. He said, oh, go over and get some, you know, branches and cut them and then she can eat with us. So <laughs> that's what he did. Uh, so that was kind of fun. And they gave me some of this peach liquor too. He said his son-in-law bought it for him or something. And then they started talking about Squid Game. They said, oh, do Canadians also like Squid Game? Because that was just when it had come out on Netflix. So anyway, that was kind of a fun experience. Okay, another sound thing, 452, 456. Oh, wait. Okay, right here, again, sound. What do you think of this? Oh, sorry. What do you think of when you hear this music that we put in? 
그리고 안전은 캐나다에서는 산에서 공을 조심해야 하는데. So not music, but that sound effect. What What do you think of? Do you think it matches the video, or what do you think of it? It's like you have to creep around and be careful. Uh huh. Yeah, it sounds like oh, sneaky, okay. or maybe maybe possibly like a cute spooky. <laughs> Okay, and Noah, you did not like this sound at all, right? What do you think of it? Uh, so, like this too in Korean YouTube videos, it comes out. It's supposed to be in in a really like absurd situation. Mm. So not really sneaky or scary, but just a little bit crazy, absurd. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Noah said we can't put that sound in, but once again, I kind of overruled and said, well, let's just stick it in. And also we were kind of running out of time. But anyway, so there was that. And then this picture, lovely picture of Heidi with the sundugu. And I just wanted to mention, I was so sad that I had to put a star on her face because I didn't get her written permission to put it in this video. But I love this picture because she was so proud. Uh, and when I went back to ask her, is it okay to put it in a video for the other video, which doesn't need written consent, she said, oh yeah, sure, that's great. She was really happy, but I couldn't put it in here. So that's a shame. Okay, and one other point, 635, just mentioning this last part. Uh, this part was taken outside, of course, and there was a lot of wind sound. So I had to take all the sound out and re-record over my voice. And <laughs> this took an incredible amount of time. And even after doing it several times, it still doesn't completely match, but it was absolutely the best that I could do. So anyway, that was a very <laughs> challenging part of making the video and some special points that we thought of. Um, yeah, so... Let's see. Those were, all right. So now that you've seen that, we'll talk a little bit about our experience, things we found challenging, enjoyable. I've kind of already mentioned them as we watched the video, but a few other things. One was, uh, <clears throat> one was for me the incredible amount of time that it took, much more than I expected. And part of it was because, um, I spoke so slowly in Korean <laughs> and trying to trying to get it like trying to say it all in the first place right and um, <clears throat> so I thought I'd show you some silly things that I went through to get some of this video uh, a couple of bloopers and again I probably can't see you so but I'll just explain it to you and I'm also hold on I also have to turn off my camera, I think, or, oh, how do I do that here? Or I might leave Zoom, like what happened to that other presenter. Hold on a second. Okay, so I'll turn off my video. Okay, so these are just a few things happened. Okay, so this first one, yeah, you can just see my frustration when I made a mess up of the lines. Um, Fiona, sorry. Oh, okay. Yes? There's a, there are a couple of boxes on the screen. It doesn't cover the video, though, but there are a couple of black boxes on the screen. Uh, there's an oh, additional one. Uh, no, there's one in, on the middle, in the middle of the video now. Oh, well, it doesn't make that Oh, much. it's gone. OK. OK. okay. Wait, one more time. So, anyway, <laughs> you can see my frustration. Another one here, too. I was, yeah, I was going along just fine, and then suddenly I forgot. And then the next one was. Uh, in this one, we were recording in the park and there was a man over 
on the, the side and he had a big camera and he came and came and started filming me. So I thought I felt really embarrassed. So that's what happened at the end of this. Canada said I'm in there. Hanguk san no mucho ahead. No, sorry. That one was that was when um I was pointing to my hat. I was trying to say I'm from Canada, pointing to my hat, but instead what I did was I said I'm from Canada and I love Korean mountains. And when I said Korean mountains, I pointed to my hat. So it was just kind of silly. And then the last one, I was so mixed up by the end. I was supposed to say I'm Canadian, but instead I started to say I'm Korean. So you'll see that one here too. <laughs> okay. So anyway, those were some of the fun times making the video. And uh, I think we don't have a lot of time, right? But I have 10 more minutes. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly say some of the hard points of making it and the good points of making it. So yeah, one thing, like I said, making bloopers, I realized, you know, I could practice and practice, but when I got in front of the camera, suddenly I'd forget everything. And it really gave me a big appreciation for my students. I mean, I always appreciated their effort, but now I really feel like, wow, like practice it 10, 20 times. It's still, you just get, you know, you just lose what you want to say. And also I got sick of hearing my own voice. Everyone else in the house got sick of it too, because they heard it over and over when I was editing the same narrative. Right, Noah? What did you think of that? I was, it was, I was just so tired of it. So even now, if I hear it, I'm really tired of it. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, oh no, don't want to hear it again. And then uh, the other thing, just about subtitles. First of all, it was kind of tricky to do an iMovie. Like I say, you can't do the subtitles on the bottom with anything else on top. And also just kind of a culture or language, you know, interesting point that, you know, I started in English and then changed it to Korean and matched the pictures to the Korean. But then I had to put the English subtitles on top of that. And it wasn't exactly the same as what I would have put if I just read it in English. So anyway, I just kind of blew my mind, like having to twist things around by changing English, Korean, and then the English subtitles. So that was kind of cool to me. And um, technical problems. I had so many technical problems, as some of you know. At the last minute, I finished the whole thing and then it would not download to the computer. And we spent maybe one or two days trying to brainstorm and figure out what to do. And, uh, but it just wouldn't work until I took out some of the video. There's some video footage that Noah took that we had to take out from the beginning. And Noah, what did you think about that whole problem of, of not being able to download the video? What did you have to do? Yeah, so I had a folder of downloading some stuff. I saved it for about a year. So it was, had a really big storage, but I had to erase it. And after all, it wasn't even the problem with the storage. That's right. Yeah, we thought, well, if we get rid of that, then, then it will be able to download. We did it, still didn't work. So it, I had to take it out of the actual video and then it downloaded okay. So anyway, and then... Um, what else? Sorry, Fiona, can you repeat, what was it in the end that you actually did? Because I remember hearing about that for a few days. <laughs> yeah, it was so um, um, just at the beginning of the video, where uh -huh. we're walking along. At the so you just, saying, you just took out one clip from the video that was... Clip, because that video actually was speeded up two times. Uh, and that must have been causing the problem. So we took that out and I replaced it with photos. And that took a long time too, because then the subtitles, were, anyway, it was quite an ordeal, but. what? How did you discover that that was a problem? Was it just, just trial and error or? Trial and error. Well, actually my husband told me, you know, I bet the video is the problem. And I thought, I don't want to take that section out because if I do, I'm going to have to redo all the subtitles. I'm going to have to match this. I thought, no, no, no. And plus that was this footage that Noah took that we wanted to keep in. But in the end, I just had to cut it. Well, welcome to the filmmaker's reality, yeah. losing shots. <laughs> anyway, it was very fun though, very fun experience. Noah, what do you want to share about good or bad points about making the video? Um, it was really fun making it. 
we had a fun time making it and stuff, but it did like take up a lot of time. And when my computer was in my room, when we did it in my room, she did it till like late at night. So I was really tired one night, but she was up to in my room till about 1 a.m. So I just went to sleep in the sofa. And Oh, thank you, Noah. I appreciate your consideration though. And then you told me earlier today too, that you felt really great when it was finished though. You felt really great when it was finished because what? Because we did such hard work and since it downloaded and everything works fine, I was kind of proud of it. Yeah, we felt proud of finishing it, right? So, yeah. So- And, and did you win a prize? I don't know yet. The <laughs> competition video, I did this one first because there was so much I wanted to say, and then I had to cut it down. And I cut it down last weekend, and the deadline was midnight on Sunday, and I got it in by 11.55. <laughs> and we'll, I don't know, we'll see what the result is. But the interesting thing is, you know, for me anyway, maybe Noah feels differently, but I don't really care if I win or not, because the process was so fun. And it was really exciting to be able to to go through it and to, I mean, I love the trail in the first place. And then I love the idea that this is a way to show people about the trail. And then third thing is it's really fun to present it here, you know, uh, you know, it's fun to have an audience. So. Can I say though, that that competition is big bucks. <laughs> I wish we could <laughs> offer what they do. What's the prize, Fiona? The grand prize is mm -hmm. 2 million won, $2,000. Yeah. Second, 1,000, third, 500. And then there's some 100,000 won. And you said they don't have very many submissions. And the agreement was I wouldn't submit anything because we're a team. Okay. And if if a prize is awarded, it goes to Noah. Isn't that right? Is that right, Noah? Ooh. Are you going to get all <laughs> That's what I remember your mom saying. <laughs> I think you didn't hear correctly, Rhea. <laughs> I didn't tell um, you I recorded it. <laughs> Uh, Fiona, there's actually a question in the chat box since we're doing questions now. Okay. Um, um, if you would like, I could read it. Um, yeah. uh, okay. So um, uh, Kristen says that um, she really enjoyed the film and it's a great learning resource for Korean language learners. And would the script be available to share? Would the script of... He of, of your video because it's a great resource for Korean language learners and uh, a lot of new and relevant phrases. So she's wondering if you would share the script. I guess I could. Sure. I, I just want to say I really enjoyed it and I heard phrases in there, but I wasn't sure how to spell the words. Uh, but I, I hike a lot and I want to talk to Koreans about my hiking experiences, but I, I don't know what to say sometimes and there's lots of phrases that I could use to scaffold my own conversation. Um, um, so I've watched the film three times now. This is the third time. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, if you'd like to see the script, I can I can get Noah to type it all out for you. Oh, oh only if it's available. If it's not, that's fine. It's <laughs> no, another exercise for me to write it down yeah, as well. No, I mean, we have the basic thing. And then you saw how I changed a lot of words and stuff. So we can just type that back in and yeah. Think that should be all right. Hmm. Um, Jose had a comment. Jose, would you like it's, to? Yeah, it's an off topic comment. <laughs> that's why I labeled it that way, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Fiona or anyone else who experiences those annoying Zoom shadows that drop on top of your share screen, if you like, I can show you. It, it take about one minute how to permanently turn those off. A lot of people oh. don't know how to do that. Would you like me to show you or? How about Please after do. the presentation? Got it. That Got would be a great that's, ad. That's, that's why I put cool. that off, off topic yeah. comment label on there. Many of us would need to know that, I'm sure. <laughs> I do have one question about the, uh, about the video and that is um, because you mentioned this downloading problem at the end, which I think would just drive me crazy after all of that. Oh. Um, what would you do differently next time just to keep, to keep the process going more smoothly? Well, I had to do the process again to make the competition video. So at the beginning, okay, I'm just going to cut that video out of that one too. Even though I thought it's only, the next one's only three minutes, it should be okay. Maybe the problem was it was seven minutes, but I just took it out anyway. So I guess I would have to say, I just wouldn't put in any 
double speed videos <laughs> and then prevent the problem. Um, or maybe just do a little bit by a little bit, like put in certain videos if I wanted them and then see if it downloads and then add more, see if it downloads and then take them out bit by bit if necessary. I don't know. I don't know what else I could do. I mean, we were just going crazy trying to figure out how to solve this problem. And so if you have any suggestions, please let me know. <laughs> do you right, think the well, two of you are going to continue making films? Sorry. Pardon me? Do you think the two of you are going to continue to collaborate and make films? Oh, what do you think, Noah? Do you want to make another one? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> to think of a good topic, right? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for all your questions. Um, our time for uh, this session is up. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you, Noah, for a wonderful and interesting and exciting presentation and video. Um, I would like to make a, a, a short announcement, if that's okay with everyone. And that is, of course, the Easter egg for this session. And the Easter egg is number five. And it is, of course, the mighty Black Panther. One more time, egg number five, Black Panther. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind giving a big round of applause for Fiona and Noah, please unmute your mics and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so I will stop the recording here.